Charity Shop Town Review. And this week we're in Maidstone and I've got a little fun fact about Maidstone. It's actually the largest town in Kent. I thought that was quite cool but it did have eight charity shops which does put it up at the top of the list. But wait, one of them was a bookshop and one of them was a furniture shop so I'm not going to be counting them. So that does mean it did only have six but really that's still not too bad. It's done a lot better than Bexley Heath did. Bexley Heath had a poor performance. Six is still a pretty solid number but the first charity shop that we hit up was his British Heart Foundation shop and I used some hand sanitizer as I walked in because safety is number one priority welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority Carl but what has happened to him I remember he used to get like 10 mil a video I'd be surprised if he even gets one mil now but the first row I hit up was this men's row which was pretty dry apart from one item which was this Star Wars t-shirt which was the only item on the whole rail that I looked at for more than a second. Above the t-shirts they had quite a large short section which I thought was quite weird. I really like these shorts with a white stitching. The only thing is I weren't going to be picking them up because they were probably just like George brand like as the brand kind of shorts and they wouldn't really sell too well on my Depop but I thought they were quite cool. But then I went through the jeans rail and I found absolutely nothing once again. I literally have no success with jeans in charity shops. Some people come away with like Vivian Westwood jeans and like Armani jeans and some jeans that are pretty nuts. And literally probably the best pair of jeans I've ever seen are overpriced Levi jeans and that is literally it. But as well the shirt section was pretty dry as well but then I see these Vans which were £8. I quickly picked them up to check they actually were Vans because I've been juked before by shoes that look like Vans. And then they end up being from George or Primark or somewhere like that but these were actually vans after giving them a quick little search in my depop i see people were selling like newer ones with the box for like 25 pounds and then people were selling vans that were like this which were a little bit beat up had a little bit of stains for like 15 pounds so i thought if i was to get like 15 for them you take away the eight pound for like the cost you take away postage and stuff like that and you're only going to be left with a couple pounds so i thought it weren't going to be worth it. I kind of wish I just picked them up just for the, like the risk in a way, but I did it in the end. So we cut out of that charity shop. Carl, what's that on my tripod? Ah, oh, it's a like button. If you haven't already liked this video, what are you doing? But if you already haven't, if you could, it'd be very much appreciated. It helps me out so much. And it would be so, so appreciated if you could. But going back to charity shops, this was the furniture shop that I was saying about. It was just a British Heart Foundation one. There's quite a lot of these British Heart Foundation like furniture charity shops about, but they're no good to me. They're no good for Depop. But then as I continued walking down the high street, I see this PDSA charity shop, which not gonna lie, when I first see it, I did think it was a vet's. I did not think it was a charity shop at all. But when I went in, it was massive. So really it was quite a good thing. I did figure out it was a charity shop, not just a vet's, cause we would have missed out big time there. But the first row I hit up was this shirts row and literally just a couple of shirts in, I see this Kristen Dior shirt. Cool, I hope I don't get a copyright claim now. Surely not. That's fair use. That was like three seconds long. But that was the first thing that came into my head when I see that shirt. So I had to pick it up. But here it actually is. It is full glory. I think this shirt is quite sick. And as well, for it only being £4, I think I got quite a steal there. Some people had these up on Depop for like £30. So if I can get anywhere near that, I'll be so gassed. Really, I think I'll more get something like 20, but I'll still be over the moon with 20. But it's just got the little Kristen Dior, like, little embroidered thing on there. And apart from that, it's pretty plain, obviously, apart from the pattern. But I thought that was a pretty solid pickup. But literally two or three shirts down, I see this Ralph Lauren shirt, which I thought was quite sick. I thought, like, the little, like, man in the middle of the pocket looked quite cool. But the only thing that was putting me off buying it was the fact that the tag was on 
on like the collar and I've heard before that if it has a collar tag it might be fake and as well it had no inside tags which also made me very skeptical and as well it was a staggering £7.50 so I weren't risking buying a fake for £7.50 it just weren't worth it but then I made a quick little TikTok about the Kristen Dior shirt which if you don't know what my TikTok is it's up on the screen now and as well I'll link it in the description I'm posting all the time on there I pretty much post every day so you'd be absolutely nuts not to go check it out you'll be missing out on so much content but then I went to go look at the polo shirts and the t-shirts and the only thing I looked at for more than a second was this what I thought was a Stone Island polo shirt which ended up being just a BHS polo shirt when I see that it said BHS I was so gutted but there was nothing else in this charity shop so we cut out of there and then I kept walking down the street and then I see a charity shop which I've never even seen before and it was called the Peggy Wood Foundation charity shop which I believe they only have in Maidstone but after giving it a google I found that the objective of the charity is just to raise money in Maidstone and kind of like raise money for better hospital facilities and it was started by Peggy Wood who started to raise funds for a two-year-old grandson who had leukemia and in the 26 years that she was running the charity before her death she raised three and a half million pounds which is quite insane but as I headed over to the charity shop I see in the window that they had an Arsenal shirt but it was eight pounds so I gave that one a miss I went inside and it was pretty crazy inside it's not like any charity shop I've ever seen before stuff was everywhere but then I went over to the massive shirts rail or just the massive rail in general it had loads of different stuff on there and as I started going through it I see this Timberland shirt which I thought was kind of cool I was gonna pick it up but the only thing was it had no Timberland branding on it so I thought it would be quite a hard sale but then I went to the rail underneath and I see this spiral shirt and not gonna lie the tag was the thing that kind of pulled me in well at least I thought that was the tag until I got home because as you just saw in the video the shirt was buttoned up this way round with like this kind of spiral on the outside and then when I got home and tried to do the buttons up I was like why are these buttons so hard to do up like why do, why am I doing them backwards and then I realized that when I bought the shirt it was inside out so when you flip it around the other way you reveal the actual tag which who knows how I didn't end up seeing because that is where the pricing is and the price for this was only £1.50 and I thought that was quite a bargain even though it's not like a brand I think this could sell pretty well on my depop just where it is quite like a sick shirt in general when i continued looking around the charity shop there was nothing really else to in there so i headed over to the till and i found out you couldn't pay with card which was awful i had to break a 10 pound note for a 1 pound 50 item the only thing that made it slightly better was the reel of seller tape saying this is not for sale on it i thought that was quite funny it made me laugh I was more kind of thinking who's going to try and buy that considering the position of it on the till. And as well one more thing that made it slightly better was the fact I got a free carrier bag with it which I didn't complain about at all. It then gave me something to put both of the shirts in so I didn't have to carry them under my arm because that gets so long. But then I cut out of that charity shop and I walked just the tiniest bit down the high street and I see this age UK shop. Well, at least I thought it was an Age UK charity shop. As I headed over to the door, it was just offices. So I got juked pretty hard by that one. I just thought it was quite weird though. Like, why would they have offices of an Age UK shop? If you know that answer, let me know in the comments. I'd be very interested to find out. But then as I kept walking, I found that actual Age UK shop, which sadly looked like it was shutting down because they had all like clearance signs all on the window. But the first item I see was this Slovensko t-shirt which if you translate it just means Slovakia. The graphic on the front though looked like it had been made in MS Paint. It did not look very good quality at all. What the f is this? This is Paint Mate. 
This is where your life is created. It was only one pounds, but I don't think it really would have sold too well, my Depop. But I think that pretty much guarantees they are closing down. And as well, I think it was closing down because all of the good stuff looked like it had been raided. There was literally nothing good in there at all. So I ended up cutting out of that charity shop. But literally across the road was this children's trust charity shop. So I headed inside, but the men's section was so small in this charity shop, it was insane. It was definitely the smallest for the day so far. Even though it was the smallest, I found this USA like Olympics polo shirt, which I thought was quite sick. And we did actually end up picking it up for only, oh, four pounds. <laughs> I think that celebration's a little bit too early though because I don't know how well this is going to sell. If it was actually from the US Olympics, it might actually be worth quite a lot. But I highly doubt it and as well, it is quite a large size. But I reckon I'll still be able to get about £15 for it on my Depop, which if you don't already know, is up on the screen and I've linked it in the description. But after I paid for that, we cut out of that charity show because there was literally nothing else really in there. But then once once again, literally across the road was this cancer research shop. I feel like I've just zigzagged down this street. But once again, this charity shop had a very small men's section. However, I did see this green North Face shirt, which I did quite like. It was only £5 as well. I thought the zippy pocket on the front was kind of sick, but for £5 and it had no branding, I didn't think it'd be worth getting. So I gave it a miss. And once again, there was literally nothing else really in this this charity shop so we cut out of there but then i was feeling kind of hungry so on the same road was this shop called esquire's coffee i have 100 butchered the name of that without a doubt but they had a sick bakery section in there with these billionaire shortbreads really standing out to me i wish i would have got one now they looked so peng but what i did end up ordering i ordered a full vegan breakfast and as well i ordered an almond milk latte called look at me going 100% vegan for this meal. But while I waited for the food to come out, I headed down to this Oxfam charity shop, which I found out once I headed inside that it only sold books, which I'm kind of surprised shops like that even exist now. Like, I didn't even think there'd be the audience for that now. But I thought, I've walked over here, I'm gonna have a look at sewing. So I headed upstairs to go look at the records. But the records were pretty dead, so I cut out of that charity shop and headed back to the table. And when I got back to the table, my breakfast was there waiting for me with my coffee. The breakfast was so peng. The only thing was that they had run out of avocado, which I was so gutted about, but they gave me an extra sausage, so you can't really complain. My only one real complaint though with it was that there was only two mushrooms. Two mushrooms, like really? But overall, my coffee and my breakfast was so peng. But let's get into the overall rating for Maidstone. And I'm going to rate it over five different categories which are the stock the charity shop had, pricings for all the items in the charity shops, parking for the charity shops, the overall area, and as well a new category which has replaced the overall coolness of the charity shops which is the food I got because every time I go to these places I get food and I thought I might as well rate that instead of the coolness of the charity shops because the charity shops don't tend to differ too much but the food is always massively different especially where I normally end up getting some weird food. But for the pricings of the items, I'm going to rate it a 7 out of 10. Everything was pretty solidly priced. For the stock the charity shop had, once again, I'm going to drop that a 7 out of 10. I came away with some bangers and as well, there was loads more stuff in there. For the parking in the charity shops, I'm going to have to give this a 3 out of 10. The parking was very pricey for how long we were there. But for the overall area, I'm going to give Maystone a 7. I thought Maystone was really nice it had loads going on as well and then for food my vegan breakfast was absolutely amazing and so was my coffee so i'm gonna give that a 7 out of 10 it was banging and as well there was loads of other options that i bet were arguably as good but that gives maystone a total of oh 
31, which means it is at the top of the list. It is the new front runner. It is technically joint with Dartford, but I'm going to put it above Dartford because I thought Maystone was such a better day out than Dartford. But that is it for the Maystone Charity Shop Town Review. As I've already said, if you could like the video, it'd be so appreciated. It goes such a long way. And as well, it's free. And as well, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, what are you doing wrong? You're going to be missing out on so much great content. And as well, if you could subscribe, to help me hit 1k by the end of the year but i really do hope you have enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next one